The white bait's made up of five different species and four of them are currently at risk or threatened. We, for a long time, because they'd gone out to sea and then come back into fresh water, we'd sort of relied on that large pool of white bait at sea around the country that um, can come back into to our catchment. Recent work is showing that there's actually different cohorts that are developing out in the ocean. So essentially, if we're not protecting what's in our own backyard, then we can't rely on fish from elsewhere to coming to recruit back into our fresh water. Our project's trying to take a holistic look at that so that we're both um, enhancing the spawning habitat for the adults, the rearing habitat for the, the juveniles, and uh, fixing migration barriers to open up more habitat in the catchment. With Auckland and Wellington in particular, through urbanisation, they've actually lost their giant cockapoo. But Hamilton's one of the only cities where we have really high densities of giant cockapoo in urban streams. And so they're very valuable fish for protecting. It's a joint project between Niwa and Waikato Tainui. A lot of the work we're doing uh, through our MB funding is looking at developing solutions and we're undertaking that research but actually getting that onto the ground in an applied sense where we can actually see it have benefits and, um, and help the fish is, is really important and that's where the, the Waikato River funding is essential.